While Chicago's victory against the Knicks was hard fought, the young and supremely talented Orlando Magic sailed through their series against Atlanta. Now, they were itching to face the Bulls. Bring on Chicago is the champ here in Orlando. There's no pressure on us. We're, we're the underdogs going in. You know? yeah, we're playing against a team that 72 wins. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Unbeatable? So we're going in relaxed and uh, ready to play. But for the first time all season, the Bulls were facing questions about their abilities. These were doubts they could ill afford as they prepared to meet the team that knocked them out of the playoffs the year before. I tell you, I want the ball in Michael's hand. And Jordan spinning his way against Anderson. I've always been known as, as, a, as a player who could finish off a team. But here I was in one of those moments, and yet I let the team down. And has it gotten much worse than this for the Chicago Bulls? We targeted Orlando all season as a team that we had to get by. We all knew that that was our biggest hurdle. And the Bulls season comes to an end. Here at the United Center tonight. No one took the loss harder than Michael Jordan. His late season return had come too late to transform the Bulls. But this season, they were an altogether different team. Now we can get a, a fair shake. Michael's been here. Uh, he's in basketball shape. Uh, we have Dennis now who can rebound. So um, let's get down for our crown. Make this thing happen from the beginning, babe. Let's go do it. What time is it? Game time. Woo! Well, this is the one that everybody's been waiting yeah. for. Oh, and yeah. you consider this to be the two best teams in the NBA. At the start of the series, the Magic played convincingly. But it soon became obvious just how much the Bulls had changed in a year. Hey, Michael on the run. MJ running, shovels, Pippen jam for the right hand. <laughs> the biggest fear for Orlando is getting this crowd involved, and that's what the Bulls are doing right now with their aggressive defense, pushing the ball down the floor, getting after second shots, and just going right in the face of Orlando. The Bulls, 121, Orlando, 83. Chicago grabs a one-game lead, and the Magic suffer their worst playoff loss ever. Just give credit to the Bulls for playing a fantastic basketball game. Uh, that's probably as well as I've seen any team play in, uh, in a long, long time. The Bulls were surprised by the ease of their Game 1 victory and headed into Game 2 in high spirits. <laughs> what time is it? 8.30. <laughs> the fun continued with a pregame salute that would bring down the house. You still set the standard for greatness, Determination and leadership. Congratulations, 1995-96 NBA Most Valuable Player. He was superb this year, and he hasn't stopped. Played every game, lifted his team whenever it counted, blended with his teammates when they were going good. He's been just superb. Inspired by Jordan's tribute and by their own spectacular play in game one, the Bulls were set for another Chicago night. But at first, their play could not match their desire. Don't do it defensively and on the glass. Do it off and push it right back at him like you start. Jim so Kukoc takes him into the lane as it's stripped. Shaw lead. Here's Anderson driving inside of Pippen. Left hand wrap around. Got it for the Magic. Orlando is belting the Bulls around, much like the Bulls belted them around in game one. Trailing. Trailing. Game one. Trailing in danger of giving up home court advantage. But 72 regular season wins had given them an unwavering faith in their ability, and they would not panic. Most teams going in halftime down down 18 points would, would be like, oh, there's no way we can get back in this game. But Phil Jackson walks in and he says, uh, we got them right where we want them. We had a number of huge comebacks this year, and uh, we had a sort of quiet confidence that we knew we could get back into it. The Bulls try and get rolling here. Jordan. Oh, the dandy rebound from Dennis Rodman. Rodman looks for Scotty. What a great play, but it wouldn't go. Scotty tipped it. Tony Kukoc comes up with it. Pussy for three. Yes, sir! This place is going nuts. It's a six-point magic lead now. Keep the momentum. 
going. Keep the ball moving. Chicago's defense turns it around in the second half. Pimp right back to Michael for the jam. They are befuddling the Orlando Magic. It's all over. The Bulls win it. What a comeback yes. by the Bulls. In that game, it, it could just kind of see it fizzle away, and then when we came out in game three, you saw it. It, it just wasn't there for them. It was like a hot air balloon with no air left in it. And the Bulls showed their deflated opponents no mercy. Guys like Michael and Scotty, you know, when there was blood in the water, they could smell it, and they were ready for the kill. Now Jordan, pull up. 18 footers scored. Michael taps himself on the chest as if to say, gotta do it, man. You gotta do it. Finding redemption at last, Jordan and the Bulls won the final two games in Orlando, emphatically erasing the memory of last year's playoff nightmare. Ball game over, and uh, the Magic are history. The Bulls have swept the Magic. A superb performance by the Chicago Bulls. We all were disappointed last year. We came back to redeem ourselves as a unit. We saw the challenge in front of us. And we stepped in front of it, and we, we faced it, and we conquered. So I think that's, you know, that's a great accomplishment. As the Bulls once again make it to the NBA Finals.